Welcome back to Newsnight. Now, it's not every year that the most awarded short film out there comes from the African continent. In this case, it's the year, a film set in Ghana where two children are taking on a life-changing day trip by a stranger. It's kids, gangsters, and Ghana's coast-like. Um, you've never seen them before. Take a look. You want to join me? <laughs> Did you want to earn this? Yes! Hey! 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 Mama! Hey! 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 Well, Daye has racked up awards from around the world and has even been nominated for the, uh, well, an Academy Award. We're joined now by the director of the film, Anthony Nti. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, your film, the short film, has been described as uh, more than a movie. Uh, talk to us about your feelings about how this short film seems to be gaining a lot of traction. Hi, uh, <laughs> thanks for having me. Um, I'm in South Africa right now, actually. Uh, so, uh, you know, we, we're in the same, we're in the same place. Um, no, um, that year is, uh, it's a short film that I did to graduate from film school. And, um, it's now shortlisted for the Oscars. We, we, we're not nominated yet, fortunately, but we hope maybe, uh, March 15, we will know what the results will be. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a personal story that I, um, that I encountered, you know, growing up and um, um, I wanted to fictionalize it. Um, and uh, it became that year. And uh, it's been traveling around the world, you know, something that I never expected because the film, I did it with like my family members in Ghana and, and, and five uh, people I knew. Belgium, you know, my, my, my cameraman and, and, and uh, my, my, my friend and, and producer and co-writer. And we went to, uh, we went to my family members. So yeah, the fact that he's traveling around the world and he's doing all these things is, is just something that I never dreamt of. You know, I did the film just to graduate and yeah, now it's taking over the world and it, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Did you write the script because you said it's a personal story for you? And what does that year mean? So, uh, <laughs> that year, yeah, that year means good night in uh, Chi. This is a language spoken in in Ghana. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's a personal story in the sense of like there were two themes that we wanted to explore, and it was. Um, uh, so peer pressure, we wanted to do something with peer pressure because like growing up in Ghana, you know, I lived in Ghana and, um, you know, I grew up in Medina, the, the place where the, most of the, 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 the film takes place. Um, I was this kid that, that I was running around, I was doing all kinds of stuff and I was a good football player. And, um, I remember we had this, there was this match going on and, um, my auntie told me to do the chores and we were, the, 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 the club, I mean, the, the football team that I normally play for, they were losing. And so one of the, one of, one of my friends came to me and was like, man, you need to come cause we're losing, you know? And, but I had to do the chores, but he was so, in, he was, he's such a good manipulative guy. He, he was like, okay, no, look, if you come on the field and we play, let's say 15 minutes, you go back, You'll be right on time. Do your chores. Your auntie won't be home yet. And how I was very naive also. So I just, I, I went to do it and I got back home. And when I got back home, my auntie was already there. And yeah, she wanted to, you know, punish me with a slap. And, you know, the, I dodged the slap. Now, that's something that I didn't have to do, you know, uh, <laughs> because I dodged the slap. I had to run. Um, away so that my auntie could, could calm down and so this this was something that I felt like okay you know it's because of peer pressure you do something 
and um, now you waiting for 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 your auntie to cool down. What happens, you know? And and that was like one of the starting point of of that year, you know. And then the other thing is like you know I lived in Belgium and um, you know I I encountered myself as a kid being in an environment in an adulthood environment where um, later now thinking of it I'm like wow uh, it could have could have went wrong, you know. Um, and so we wanted to play with two things, you know, peer pressure and innocence of children that could go. You know, that could be yes, indeed, and it's quite a very uh, relatable theme there. And you seem to have used a lot of uh, uh, cinematic language. Was that deliberate, or was it just fortune that smiled on you? Uh, I mean, I I wanted to, you know, for me it had to be cinematic. You know, uh, you know, if you watch my previous films, you know, for me Ghana is a super cinematic place, and I really wanted to have this cinematic movie you know like i wanted people to sit like on their chairs like this and be like oh what's gonna happen what's gonna happen you know because you know like uh growing up in ghana I, everything that i saw is very cinematic you know um like you know i was chasing the chickens and football and, and you know the, the the color patterns everything was so cinematic that, and, and i wanted to show the world that um you know you can make a cinematic film um, with a with a very small story, you know, and 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 that's what Daier became, you know. So from the beginning on, I wanted to do like a social drama mixed with thriller, and 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 yeah, I'm, I I hope I achieved that um, in Daier, yeah. So uh, Anthony, very quickly, then uh, help us understand when you entered it for these many. Uh, film festivals. What was in your mind? Did you ever think it will be shortlisted to be entered into any of these? I had no idea. <laughs> the thing is, like when I ha when I told when I wanted to do the story in Belgium, like when I I told my teachers and stuff, everybody was like, "That's too ambitious. You can't do that." And 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 you know, we we didn't have money. We didn't find money. So I I was doing. I was working for the Pizza Hut. I was delivering pizzas. I, you know, I did some video clips. I did some commercials. A good friend of mine helped. You know, we, we just collected some money together, and and you know, my my, my family in Ghana, they they helped me so much. You know, um, I, you know, I told them like, look, I don't have a lot, and everybody's gonna be a crew member, and so everybody became a crew member, and and you know, I'm also super proud of that. You know, um, but I just wanted to graduate. You know. Because it took so long, uh, it took me like I, I shot the film in 2017, and I just had enough money to go shoot it, and then I had to make, I had to find a way to find money to then finish it, and then I finished it, and um, and then I graduated finally in 2019, and which I was very happy about, you know, and um, and then it premiered in Clermont Ferrand, which was one of the biggest short film festivals in the world, you know. And, it's amazing uh, graduating only in 2019, and now you're an Oscar. Uh, well, your work is shortlisted for the Oscars. Thank you so much. Uh, since Daye means good night, would like to say Daye to you, Anthony. And thank you so much for. Uh, joining us and we wish you the very best as uh, we look forward to march 15 that's when you'll know if you're uh, nominated or not